One Piece chapter 1042 is out and I'm here to talk about it. Surprisingly, uh, very early, okay? But we're to talk about it. Not where I normally am in regards to recording. Sorry if the sound is a bit weird. It'll get better, I promise. In the meantime, let's talk about this chapter, shall we? X Drake, as expected. I guess we talked about a cover story at some point, not today, but we'll talk about it. X Drake, as expected, did get up and do something to CP0. CP0 was going through a lot of slander uh, on social media last week just because a lot of people felt like they were trashed because they lost to Ezo. Well, one of them lost to Ezo. Ezo, which was half dead, who's been fighting pretty much the entire war, uh, yeah, somewhat managed to take out one of them, which, you know, I didn't tie that to power scaling whatsoever. That's, fu that's funny as hell, right? People that typically don't power scale always got to mention something about power scaling. I did not even think about power scaling when it came to Ezo and CP0. It was just like, well, the story says. Ezo planned to take one of them out and he succeeded so you know but it is what it is anyway a lot of slander towards CP0 and it, it continues here right you come up and then you don't realize that X Drake is sneaking up behind you even in, in his full Zoan form I, I assume he's a bit heavier now right uh, more girth yeah that's a bit weird more weight I guess can't hear anything maybe it's the mask maybe you need to put some ears on your mask or something I don't know either way I had no issue with it because this guy turned the tables quickly and then he used Jigan immediately and was disposed of X Drake I, I, you know hopefully this time for a long time but we'll see my honest thoughts on CP0 right this this is what I just got to say about CP0 I think CP0 more than anything would like for you to subscribe to this channel right we'd love for you to subscribe to the channel drop a like turn on post notifications because we about to drop heat rock going forward no seriously I think CP0 on a real note they're fine they're fine yes they haven't lived up to my expectations but I had some pretty lofty expectations and uh, I don't think it's just mine based on the story CP9 kind of set the precedent where it's like, you know, but they're a different cypher poll agency anyway. So it's like, it is what it is. It's not a big deal. It's just like, mm, I'm not that impressed. I'm not going to slander them, but you know, time will tell. And time did tell as the story went on. And it's just like, history is kind of repeating itself, you know? Anyway, we'll get to it. The people are making wishes, right? I'm like, bro, are y'all freaking blind? Do you guys not see the goddamn island coming towards you? But Momonosuke is driving it back a bit further. So I guess I'll give them the benefit of the doubt with that. It's just like, bruh. But they're making wishes. They're, they're trying to remain hopeful. I think their wishes might come true when the dawn arrives, right? When when the sun comes up this next time in Wano, but we'll see. But then we get to some good shit. Good shit being Kaido versus Luffy, it continues. Big Mom is wrapped up, so of course, that was the next necessary thing. Of course, that's what we've all been waiting for, so here we are. Kaido versus Luffy, what's, what's, what's happening? Luffy is still pummeling Kaido in a way that is ungodly and probably should be illegal, and Kaido is basically looking at him like, wait, well, okay. He's altering his trajectory at will, on a whim. That shouldn't be able to be done by rubber, which I'm like, Oda, wh why are you playing with me like this? Stop teasing me like this. I don't like, well, maybe I do like a little bit of foreplay, but not like this, okay? I think what Oda is doing here is teasing us because now it's like, Kaido saying, well, rubber shouldn't be able to do this. And we know that the, the huge speculation from last chapter was like, well, Luffy's devil fruit really isn't rubber. It's something else. So now people are like, okay, is Oda trying to tell us something or is he just messing with me? Because right now I feel like he's just messing with me and I have no problem with it. Keep it going because I, hey man, it leads to a lot of speculation. But right now Kaido's like surprised at how good Luffy is at changing direction and on a whim, or rather altering the trajectory. But there are more phases to this thing, this creature called Kaido, because Kaido is now in his uh, flirty drunk phase. And I feel like if this was a uh, seinen, it would be horny drunk phase. It's a, it's a, it's a weird thing, but th that's what's happening here. It's, it's not bad. It's just, at this point, it's expected. I don't know if I saw a few people complaining about this. It's like, what? Kaido has been shown to have like different phases and moods ever since he was introduced. Why are we mad at it now? I think the biggest shocker from this chapter is Kaido basically saying, hey, I have future sight as well, kid, which you know, for the most part, Future Sight has been somewhat downplayed as the story has gone on, basically because people felt like Katakuri has been overrated, and he has been. 
he, he definitely has been, but for good goddamn reason, because I'm one of the people that overrate him, and it, he's just such, he's a beast, right? However, because of a category, Future Sight gets underrated, because Luffy was able to pick it up in one session, pretty much. Future Sight does not get, I think, the credit that it deserves, and Kaido's saying here, hey man, anyone can see the future, not necessarily, not like UN, right? Back in Whole Cake Island, hey bro, anybody can skywalk, and then skywalk, and then bat Sanji out of the sky. That's not what's happening here, no. He's saying, yo, I can see the future as well. You're not the only one. I'm like, okay, that's something that's cool. That, that's something I wish Kaido would have mentioned before that he could see the future. Now I'm going to go back and watch Kaido's fight and see, wait, did, did he see the future there? You know, for the son, the Bog was always like, oddly enough, very on point. So for him, if he sees the future, I guess he can attack where he thinks you're going to go, or sees you're going to go. It's, it's, it's an interesting thing to think about. However, we got to wait and see a bit more. Okay. But hey, he said it. Don't think you're the only one that can see the future. So yeah so kaido uh thieving drunk phase leads him to somewhat doing the same thing that luffy's doing with his devil fruit but using his dragon body it's it's very interesting i i think it's cool that kaido has this phase that he can basically copy people he's like the copy ninja he's like akashi i guess in the first part of naruto not the first part but the first couple chapters of naruto where kakashi is known as the copy ninja then we go on to see like probably five jutsu i'm pretty sure the story said he had more than that five i may be exaggerating it might be six. Either way, Kaido goes on to copy Luffy and get a hit in. It's it's astounding, right? But it's like, yo, it's almost like what Katakuri was doing to him. And it's just like him using Future Sight or mentioning Future Sight, now copying Luffy and making his attacks a bit more devastating. It's like, hmm, you may be Katakuri's dad after all, huh? I don't know. I technically did say that that's not his, that's not category of an Endai Fuku's father, but he did not not say it, right? I don't know. So he eats Luffy, literally eats Luffy, and he's going up and it's like, wee! I'm like, what the hell is going on? But he then spits Luffy out, but in the midst of it, let's go a blast breath, right? So it's, so I'm like, is that a combination? Is this just like happenstance because you're fucking drunk? I, I'm not quite sure. Either way, Luffy fended off these attacks and him going into Bound Man was really interesting because now I'm thinking, okay, Bound Man is definitely one of the best defensive forms or better defensive form, I guess, than Snake Man. But why not Tank Man? Is Oda saving Tank Man, the original Tank Man, not Tank Man full version for a special occasion? Because he went to Bound Man, which for a lot of us, we presumed that Tank Man was the defensive form. Maybe we were wrong. Something the story is trying to drive or Oda is trying to drive home here is that Luffy's at his wit's end and he doesn't have much left. And time and time again, the story is telling you that Luffy is pretty much almost done. And we know for gear fourth, there's a time limit. We assumed he would have gotten a lot better with that. It, it seems to be a time limit because Luffy's saying, yo, I, I got to get this done right now. I don't have time to waste. This is my last gear fourth, which the wording is, I don't know how to feel about it. I'm not sure if I believe that. I don't know if it's trying to be misleading. It's, I don't think anything is said in stone now, a lot of people that were saying well okay it's clear now right luffy's gonna use gear fourth something like well it's clear now he's not gonna use gear fourth and it's or gear fifth rather people are saying it's clear that he's gonna use gear fifth and some people are saying that it's not I, I don't think it's as clear right i think it's very up in the air but something that i think is pretty clear to me is that luffy is he's not gonna beat kaido right now like at this juncture something else has to happen for him because kaido is still eating these hits and not toying around but he's like eh, you you fire you cool but no but uh, okay we'll get back to kaido in a second kaido was spitting okay kaido talking about the samurai was spitting I'm, I'm gonna get more into that tomorrow or yeah tomorrow when we talk about kaido as a villain because i'm pleasantly surprised with kaido and how much he talks smack and how much it cuts deep he's basically saying that the people of wano used to defeat that they're either pacifists or they're content to die for the sake of honor. Now, I understand dying for honor. It was pointed out in a recent chapter, in, in a recent chapter, by Usopp, just how stupid it was. Like, why are you guys just trying to die for each other? Live for each other, right? Like, for him, it's like honor is honorable. Like, you just want to die because, bro, hold on to your life. That's the only one you have, you know? So, of course, Kaido's not 100% right here. Saying that they're losers trying to cover up the stench of their failures is a bit Bit harsh but i did not expect the end i know cp0 was given a mission and an order to somewhat make sure that luffy loses so that he not make sure that luffy loses but 
um, take out Luffy. So I guess in this instance, distracting Luffy, making him get hit by this devastating attack by Kaido makes it easier for you to complete your job. So it, it was very, it was a very sound thing for him to do. Just very shitty in regards to this fight because Kaido now, he's thinking back to what happened between him and Odin where, you know, he had a good fight going on. He had a good thing going. All of a sudden, here comes the old hag, distracts Odin. Shit is in his fire, right? And he, he regrets that to this day, it feels like. Now at this point, he's fighting Luffy saying, Luffy, you know, you might be able to do something. Now here comes CP0, distracts Luffy. He gets hit with the full blunt full brunt of that attack it's gonna affect kaido I, I wonder what he does i mean more than likely cp0 takes the damage here takes kaido takes it out on cp0 because remember last time the old hag got killed right so something has to happen here because he's i don't think he's happy is the fight over no it's not over i think Luffy bounces back 100 percent it's just that's a pretty devastating attack to just take to the face you know just to the face overall things are progressing man a kaido becomes more and more interesting every chapter the things he says the things he does i'm just like this dude he's, he's he's pretty incredible like he's great give me your thoughts guys what do you think about all this it's a lot going on well for the most part because it's, it's kind of condensed to like one scene it's just luffy and kaido and everything around that so it's, it's pretty cool so there's a lot going on within this one scene we did get the drake and cp0 stuff but it's kind of tying it together because cp0 took out x drake now they went after luffy to basically foul up the fight so luffy could basically lose then we got the people wishing upon the lanterns hoping things would be better so majority of the chapter luffy versus kaido so i'm really excited about that but guys give me your thoughts how do you feel about it is the fight over no i don't think so more to come but yeah give me your thoughts make sure to like the video if you did subscribe to the channel for more content like this follow me on twitter at brago d ace follow me on instagram at brago d dot ace thank you to my patrons i appreciate you guys all so much again guys be sure to like and subscribe and i'll catch you in the next one Peace. Yeah. Okay, I start doubting me, I felt lost. I